It is the Mike Show. It's the Monday edition. And uh, welcome the return of Maker Mondays uh, with Vector Space. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, Molly, so uh, we did this series uh, last year, uh, right before Maker Fair, and it was a way for us to uh, to introduce some of the makers that were going to be at the fair. So uh, tell us what's what's going on for this year. Uh, for how many how many years is this? Uh, this is actually our eighth year doing wow. Maker Fair. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe it either. Um, this is only my second year on board, but okay. you spend one year at Maker Fair and you're on board forever. Sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, and and it's it was fantastic last year. Uh, it was a it was a great turnout, and we got to see so many cool things and so many cool gadgets. Uh, this year it is when. Uh, it is happening towards the end of March, okay. uh, March twenty fourth from. Mm-hmm. 11 to 4 p.m. at Randolph College. Okay. Uh, and we're looking forward to that as well. We'll be there and we'll be broadcasting live and showing folks. Hopefully, folks can just join us because that's that's the intention uh, of us being there in the first place. Yeah. Is to tell the story, but come and, and, and watch everything that's going on. Yeah, it's a really great process. It's free and open to the public, but it's um, also special because it's educational and it's hands-on. There's a lot of opportunities for STEM exposure for your kids or science exposure for you if you're interested. Um, and there's a lot of beautiful art and unique things that are happening and being made right there on the spot. So it's worth coming to check out. It, and, it, was, it was such a cool thing, especially for the kids as well, and big kids too. Uh, but especially for the kids, uh, they got a very hands-on, immersive experience in all kinds of different things. Um, and, and for folks that have never been to a Maker Fair, uh, what, uh, what can they expect? Um, the great thing is that uh, you will come and you might try to have expectations, but all of those will just be blown out of the water because there are so many different activities to get involved in. Um, you can expect to... This year, do a few neat, unique items like uh, making stamps with Legos. That would be something that's really kid-friendly. But there will also be the home brewers there who are letting you sample yes. their home brewing yes, uh, magic and getting to do a little bit of experimentation, maybe throwing some grains in their barrel. So there are a lot of different things, very wide-ranging. It, uh, it, was, it was so cool, and we're really, really looking forward to it. Uh, well, this year... Uh, you brought us guests, and you do that uh, each and every Maker Monday. Uh, who did you bring? Um, I have some great makers here today that I'm so excited that I get to share with you. I have Christian Bradley West. Hi, Christian. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I have Adam Sponterelli. Hello. Hello. Um, all right, so uh, you want Christian first? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me uh, let me adjust the screen uh, and pull up uh, pull up his stuff. Uh, Christian, welcome to the welcome to the program. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank uh, you. What uh, what is it that you do? Yeah, so right now I'm I've been taking wasp nest and hornet's nest, and then what I do is I coat them in porcelain. Wait, wait, wait! I have a sound effect for this. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's it's Nick Cage and the bees. Oh, no, not the bees. Yes, the bees. Not the so bees. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, Nick. It's, it's, it's the bees. So okay, so you you get these, and and I'm assuming that they've been vacated. Yeah, yeah. So okay. they vacate. So for anyone that's wondering, they they never they don't come back. So okay. wasp nest and hornet's nest, they vacate. I didn't know in that. the fall. Yeah, hmm. I did not know that. I, Most I, people don't. So I'm yeah. hoping in the makers that this is the educational portion okay. of what I'll offer for people. Yeah, because people also don't know that wasps and hornets also well wasps in particular are also pollinators. Uh-huh. Uh, so to kill them, and they also eat mosquitoes and all the nasty things that we don't like. So really? a lot of people go, "Oh, we got to get rid of them. They're going to harm us." And and they might, depending on where the nest is. Yeah. But but most of the time, if you leave them alone, they'll just go about their business. Why? Okay, I I just want to ask the obvious question: Why are they so angry? Yeah. <laughs> why are they just so mean? I mean, I, it's it's honeybees and bumble bumblebees are like are like big flying teddy bears. Yeah. Uh, and 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 they're and they're silly. And my kids my kids are not afraid of them. Yeah. Uh, and they're not afraid of honeybees because you know we've been teaching them that pollinators are good. Yeah. And and if you leave them alone, but as soon as they see wasps or or hornets, it's like. 
So it kind of yeah. goes hornets, yellow jackets, <laughs> and then certain wasps. Yeah. That, um, with the mo- with the first one being the most aggressive down. <laughs> I, I'm not sure why, except that just it's it was embedded into their system to you know <laughs> yeah. to not to not be messed with. Okay, they might um, be thinking the same thing about us. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. they, they very well. Exactly. Why is that guy spraying that at me? <laughs> I built yeah, this house. Exactly. Yeah, I, built, I built my house, and the, yeah. he's knocking it down with a broom. Yeah, they're like horses just use their tail to swat us away, but these humans mm, they yeah. come yeah. with chemical cans. Yeah. Well, and, and I uh, came I, up. I, with I get the, it. I, I get it. Yeah. Well, and I came up with the idea. I was in, in an artist residency in North Georgia, and they were built around the the ceramic studio there. And yeah. I was like, I wonder if I just dip these in ceramics. And it took a minute because when you coat something in a ceramic, uh, paper is easier, but it, it cracks when it's okay. drying because, you know. So, you know, there are some things to work out, but I, I think I've perfected the process now. So how much thicker uh, is, is a nest versus you know, a regular uh, piece of paper? Um, n- not really at all. In fact, it's probably thinner. Really? Yeah. So, yeah, nature being the first maker, okay, like made them pretty fantastic. So, it, my job's pretty easy after that. Okay. <laughs> well, this is this is beautiful. I, um, I'm you. showing I'm showing the uh, the work right now, and and these are these are uh, wasp and hornet hives dipped in ceramic. Yep. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, what else do you do in addition to to this? So I'm, uh, gosh, that's a big question. But I will will say that artistically, I my background's in photography, um, and I so I I mainly just go onto my phone just for fun, and then I paint as well. But in ceramics, um, this is my and I'm a writer. But in okay. ceramics, this is my my main focus. Um, and and I've been I I have a few at the fair too. I've been casting stones as well so uh, the the thing is called casting stones where i collected stones from around the area and then made plates and bowls and and different things from them uh so i've got that as well so i thought i'd bring a few of those that i have left over from the last thing i did and 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 talk about slip casting where you use liquid clay to 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 make things neat yeah Uh, and i've got uh, i've got your website up do you mind if i share uh the homepage? yeah uh, and and if uh, if folks want to learn more, uh, you can go to christianbwest.com, uh, which is uh, right up on the screen, and we'll share that in the comments section uh, on our Facebook page at the Mike Show VA. Uh, really, really cool. This is neat, and and you'll be set up. You'll be at Maker Fair this I time. W- I will. I ha- I'll have a lot of jewelry. I think I, I made okay. out of the wasp nest. I think I'm going to move. I'm, I figured I'd bring wearables because wow. they're small and yeah. And and the last show I did, there lots of people loved them. So I'm like, and I sold all everything. So I was like, oh, maybe I should make more. <laughs> maybe people <laughs> people want sign. these. Yeah, yeah. People want these necklaces. <laughs> so and it may be a great deterrent for people that you don't want at your home if you display them in yes. you know conveniently <laughs> in places like the door and no, I'm just kidding yeah that is, I, I recommend that to people <laughs> yeah. sometimes I think you can do that actually. I've been wondering if you're like solving a housing crisis for wasps or, I, you know they well, have these homes would that don't they move last in? Yeah, right. yeah. I, I don't know I haven't I haven't I haven't put enough outside to find out <laughs> but we, we will but but if they're using mine then they won't make them for me yeah. to, oh. to See, harvest at yeah. the end of the year exactly so you need them to make well and and apparently uh, based on on what you said earlier uh, they they make them and then they abandon them yes. and they and they never come back the so. queen um every sadly everyone dies um at the end of the season except for the queen what yep. <laughs> that episode (laughs) spoiler except for the queen and she buries herself in the ground with the eggs and then wakes up in the spring and builds a little nest and starts all over again wow this is uh this is amazing this is fascinating uh have have you always been into bees or was this just an observation i have i have a tattoo of a bee um on my back and since i was a kid i was kind of obsessed with honey honey to me is like wine of course wasps don't make honey for anyone out there they're they're different species uh but uh but yeah it's they're still they're still helpers and 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 getting things from our world done so yeah insects have always we'll just say insects in general i have a couple tattoos of them they've always been a thing all right so and and just to clarify, uh, wasps uh, are, are wasps and hornets. Uh, are they both pollinators? 
Um, I was, yes and no. I, okay. More wasps. Um, um, uh, hornets are going to get a lot of bad insects you don't like. Okay. More, more right. so. Well, and, yeah. but there's a place for them in our, in our ecosystem, and, and uh, try not to kill them. Absolutely. Yeah. If you can help it. If you, if you can help it. If they've built a house in, in, on your porch, you might want to second guess that. I want to have them relocated. Yeah. I also know. found a nest recently that that was in a non-ideal location that I, I'm curious if you're going to uh, cast it. Well, yes. Microphone. Yes. I figured I would, we've got one at Vector Space and I was going to cast it specifically for Vector Space. I thought we could have a little, a little piece of art that lives there somewhere. I'm telling you, this could be uh, a side hustle for you. Uh, instead of extermination, have you come in and relocate them? I can do that. And then cast them. You have to do it at night. Okay. <laughs> so, when they're not they, aggressive. Yeah. yeah. They, or yeah. less aggressive. Yeah. 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 Interesting. They, they, yeah. They're, they're, they kind of go into a state at night. So, um, that yeah. So, there it is. Well, we'll go from hornets to racing. <laughs> All right. And I, I'm really, really excited about this. Adam, tell us uh, about uh, the Power Racing Series. Sure. So this is the first time we're bringing this event to Lynchburg, and this okay. is um, this is an existing national organization um, that is essentially. I like to tell people it's a lot like Mario Kart for adults. Nice. Um, <laughs> on a, on a, on a full scale. It's yeah. not a video game. This is uh, a competition where people build what look like. Um, Power Wheels cars mm-hmm. for kids, yeah. but they soup them up so that they drive 20 to 30 miles an hour and oh, they, they race them around a the track. Um, so it's – and in this competition, one of the one of the primary rules is that there's a budget limit to how much you can spend on the car. Okay. So the budget is $600. All right. Um, and you've got to build one of these things for, for less than $600 and, and be competitive. And it's um, surprising <laughs> how, uh, you know – ingenious people are with with what they do and how they make these things drive quickly now are, are there limitations to uh what you can use as an engine or how big the engine is and all yep. that kind of stuff yeah so this is all electric motors um, okay and there are fuse limits the, like the organization will give you a uh, say a 30 amp fuse okay and you're not allowed to blow that fuse and if you do <laughs> you gotta you know go back begging for permission um for a new one <laughs> okay um so but 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 also along in, in line with the competitive aspect, there's also uh, this culture within this Power Wheels racing community of um, playfulness and silliness. And so these cars, they're expected to look uh, either like Power Wheels cars or in the spirit of Power Wheels <laughs> nice. cars. So, yeah, if you're looking at the site right now, you'll see that a lot of them look look pretty silly, pretty ridiculous. There was... Well, and I'm trying to I'm trying to find uh, more photos uh, of the actual cars themselves. I I, I clicked on the uh, Chicago makes. Uh, where M- Molly, maybe if I... you can walk me through this. All right. While she while she brings one up, I'll, I'll yeah. tell you. Um, so we just saw one of these races down in Orlando for the Orlando Maker Fair, which is one of the bigger Maker Fairs in the country. Okay. And um, w- one of the carts was. A Home Depot tote bin, like a 27 gallon, those black and yellow top tote bins. Okay. That was the whole car, and you know, and that was on <laughs> wheels. And so there's some, there's an adult sitting in one of these tote bins, and it was by far the fastest oh, car. Here we go. <laughs> these are some good ones. All right, let's uh, let's pull this up right here. Nice, nice, uh, and I and I especially love the uh, uh, the mystery machine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I saw that one in New York. Yeah. I remember that one. <laughs> this is amazing. And Adam, you know you can't get out of this without telling us a little bit about your team and the car that you all are building, yeah. right? Sure, yeah. So not only are we bringing the event to Lynchburg, um, which which is the first time it'll be even close to this area. Yeah. I think the, the closest it had been before was Charlotte. Okay. Um, but that event doesn't happen anymore. So the so the events come into us, um, but also Vector Space is building our own cart right now. Really? Yes. And um, it's our first one. Okay. So um, 
you know, we're we're, we're going to do our best. I don't I don't think we're going to come out and win the race or anything, but um, we're definitely going to roll on four wheels. Well, not with an attitude like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a lot of debate. There, you know, we, so we've got a team of of uh, eight or nine members working on this project, okay. and there was a lot of debate early on where we we were going back and forth between are we trying to you know, cross the finish line at the end, or are we trying to blow the competition out of the water? And you know, those things are, they, they compete with one another because when you try to go I mean, for performance, you yeah. often don't cross the finish line in the end. Okay. Um, so we had all sorts of ridiculous ideas to improve performance, transmissions. Uh, we thought about making our own steel that was particularly lightweight. I mean, we went down uh, a lot of different roads, but we've, we've, We've turned it back towards being a little more conservative okay. and trying to finish the race. Um, but but to start with, our cart is called the Mini Cooper. <laughs> and nice. it is a combination in the front. It is a, a Mini Cooper body style of a car. Okay. And it transitions into a chicken coop in the rear. <laughs> This, uh, uh, I, I believe I've got uh, I've got one that all, that looks like a Mini Cooper in there, the front. Yep, yeah, there definitely is one that's on a, the on the on the Power Racing yeah. uh, Series wiki. Uh, but I've got that up on the screen. Uh, but this this is really really cool. They really do look like Mario Karts. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so our real. our special feature on ours is that <laughs> I don't. I mean, I guess I'll give away the surprise here. Well, but. no, you don't have to give it away. You can, <laughs> okay. You can tell people to show up. Yeah, and, that's true. And we've given them enough information. All right. There's yeah. a surprise that people will like. Yeah. Unless you want to, you don't have it's to. It's tempting, but yeah. All right. I'll, we'll, I'll keep it reserved. It's it's what I'll tell you is the entertainment <laughs> value of this race is just okay. through the roof. Um, it, it's a lot of fun to watch. All the cars are entertaining. Um, in, in their own special ways. In, in Orlando, one of the carts was a horse, and it was incredibly slow. Like, I mean, just unbelievably <laughs> yeah. slow. I mean, just getting lapped, you know, lap after lap, it was just getting blown past. But the driver had a smile on her face the entire time, That's and amazing. she had this button that would just make a neigh sound. <laughs> and, I mean, just the crowd went wild every time she nice. crawled past. <laughs> how how many uh, how many carts will be uh, will be in this particular competition uh, at Maker Fair? Yeah, that's a great question. We're we're not entirely sure to be honest because okay. it's our first event. Um, we're hoping for for five carts, um, and and that is on the small end. But yeah. but um, you know, hopefully we can start with something that's still entertaining to watch and then grow it over the years. Absolutely. Having said that, this um, activity is not something that's exclusive. Uh, it's something that anyone could do if they wanted to go to the website, see the rules, build their own cart, get wacky in their garage and make something <laughs> wild. Um, it's a very community oriented uh, event. So okay. yeah, bring it on. Uh, and you've got plenty of time. When do you have to uh, uh, let folks know or, or submit your application, or when, when when do you have to do that? That's a great question. I mean, I've, uh, registration's probably open until like the Friday before Maker really? Fair. Okay. Um, so even I could make something. You could. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I will say <laughs> it would be a tight schedule at okay. this point. Even when, when we started a month ago, right? But if your only goal is to make a horse that... <laughs> That's true. Nays, <laughs> barely makes it across. Makes it a, you if know. you have a different set of goals, <laughs> um, you, you, could, you could get in there. But, but yeah, we... Like I said, we have eight or nine people working on it, and we started a month ago, and we meet. It's true. Four or five hours a week to yeah. work on it. That's mm-hmm. that's quite the commitment. I I would probably need to hire somebody to do this <laughs> for me at this point, and that's and that's probably frowned that, upon. That defeats the yeah. That yeah. defeats the purpose because yeah. it is a great deal of fun just yeah. building the thing. Absolutely. Uh, Maker Fair is coming up uh, Sunday, March twenty four. Uh, is there still space, and can makers still sign up? Uh, yes, we are still accepting applications. We have our first set of makers already accepted, but we okay. will accept a few select few as okay. we move closer to the event. All right. Uh, and folks can learn more if they visit lynchburg.makerfair.com? That's right. Okay. Uh, we've we've got all the information. Um, tell us how things are going at Vector Space. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys uh, just uh, recently, and I say recently, uh, has it been a year? It's It's been a year, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're just about to come up to our year anniversary of okay. the big move and to our um, 
double size building and we uh, have added new shops. Some of them are in the making and some of them have just expanded and gotten more elaborate. Um, something that Christian has actually been helping us with because he is a member at Vector Space is our ceramic studio that's okay. up and coming. Um, that is got the drywall on the walls and the wheels ordered and in boxes. So we hope to be unpacking those within the next month. Very, very cool. Well, it's a, it's a great space that you guys have, and I remember uh, the smaller space that you had on Fifth Street uh, versus uh, the corner of you're on you're on uh, Langhorn and Memorial, Memorial mm-hmm. uh, which used to be uh, the uh, the wholesale flower uh, uh, warehouse uh, yep. and store, and and that uh, going from the smaller space, how many? What's the square footage of the new space? Um, it, so it's about double the old space. It's, okay. it's about twenty two, twenty three thousand square feet. Okay. Um, well, congratulations uh, on the move and the expansion and all the classes and courses and workshops and things that you guys are doing, and especially working with the kids. That is just fantastic. You guys are you guys are making it happen. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. So are you? Absolutely. Well, well, well we try. <laughs> um, it is uh, the Mike Show. It's the Monday edition. So uh, each and every Monday. Uh, we're going to feature yet another maker. Uh, Molly's going to be joining us as well, Ooh. and uh, and and you know, all leading up to Maker Fair. Uh, so again, you can learn more uh, by visiting. And I uh, click the screen off. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Lynchburg.makerfair.com. Uh, you can learn more. And please, uh, please to be joining us if you're not a maker. Uh, just come and check this out. It's very family friendly. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We had a, a blast last year, uh, and we look forward to it again this year uh, at Randolph. Uh, folks, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Coming up a little bit later on, we've got your audio vault. Stay tuned.